So hi again, this is night two on M106. And the last night was about five days ago and this brew was okay. I managed to get about three hours of hopefully usable data. Um, the Ascar rig outside, that wasn't so successful. Now, there's something going on with that at the moment. I don't really know what it is. I haven't had a chance to look at it, but I'm gonna give it another go tonight. Anyway, it's nearly dark enough to get focused. My Ascar rig, I'm gonna to have to polo a line and then I'll slew around on my targets. I'm not sure what target I'm gonna go for with the Ascar tonight. We're supposed to get another clear sky tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. I better get focused. Now, I've had some issues with the Ascar here over the last couple of nights, and that's funky stars in the bottom right hand corner. Now, I don't know whether that's a bit of uh, tilt on the camera or what, but um, I haven't used this scope a lot, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, it's a pestle design. We don't need to worry about um, a feel flattener. We don't need to worry about back focus on this. So as long as it's well balanced, uh, polar aligned, properly focused and um, good guiding or reasonable guiding anyway I've been getting 0 0.6, 0 0.7 um, I don't see really why I should be getting funny stars with it so it's more likely something to do with the camera rather than the actual scope because when I had first light with this and I um, got my Andromeda image the stars were sharp right into the corners and there was no sign of any kind of funny shaped stars at all so I don't quite know what's going on so really this is going to be another night of testing with it and hopefully I'll get to the bottom of it and get it sorted out. Right, so I'm going to show you basically a mistake that I've made and I don't want you to make the same mistake. I hadn't realised. I thought I was doing a nice neat job of my cable management, getting them neat and tidy. I've been tying them all together, cable clipped on, nice and neat. Same on this side, all up here. However, what I hadn't realized is, using the rotator on the Ascar, if I wanted to rotate the camera 90 degrees to the right, for example, watch what happens to my PAR cable. See how it's tightening up against the camera? When I turn this, it's tight. It's now stopping me from rotating it anymore. And if I try to continue to rotate it, it's gonna put pressure on this angled power supply here. It's also gonna cause the camera to twist slightly. So basically what I have to do is undo all my cables and don't make them so tight. It might be nice to get neat cables, but make sure you've given yourself enough cable so that you don't have this issue with your cables pulling tight. Learn from my mistakes. I'm now gonna correct that. So now I've given myself more cable here. I'm hoping that it'll solve the issue that I was having. I rotated the um, camera and in this position here, about there. I was getting some funny shaped stars. Now that's probably, or at least I'm hoping that's what it was, when the cable was tight across the camera here, it may have been forcing the camera over slightly, causing maybe a teeny little bit of tilt. And uh, when the uh, camera was in this position, where the cable was much slacker, the stars were absolutely fine. So I'm now gonna do some tests when it's dark enough and uh, I will try the um, camera in all the different positions. I, I will try it all the way around and see if the stars look good all the way around. And hopefully that was what my issue was. So my cable management could have been causing my funky stars. Okay, so these things are sent to Trice. I'm trying to connect to the ASI here, but it's trying to transfer some firmware. He's doing an update. Here we go, he's now doing the update. Right, 100% installed. Well, it looks like we're in. Yeah, we're in. 
It must be done. I'm gonna have to pile a line now, so I'm gonna give that another go. Right, success. That's one of these. Pile of aligned. Hello, darling. Right, let's get this unplugged and I'll move on to the next one. Right, that's the second rig, power aligned. I'll now unplug this. Uh, get the little cap bag on. There we go, that's all ready. Right, switch this off. I don't need the laptop anymore now, so that can all go. And uh, now hopefully, I'm gonna swim around my target and maybe even get focused. So I'm now outside about to set up this rig. I've got it set on M81. Let's see if this is gonna slew to the target. Doesn't wanna move. So interesting to see if it finds it. No reason why it shouldn't. Let's see if it's uh, centered it. Okay, it's found it. I'm actually gonna set the um, EAF off now, let's just get that running. Right, I'll leave that to go. I'm gonna set the other one up. It's definitely hard work running two rigs. Has this found its target? Yes, it has. So, get the EAF working on this one. leave both of them for a little while come back and see what's happened in a minute right it's just completed the focus routine and now we started the session you see how dirty my screen is here i just realized all these dirty finger marks on there anyway guiding uh, 0.45 that's not bad considering it's still quite light not totally dark yet. The time is a there you go, ten past ten. So, to be honest, it's not really completely dark here until about eleven. I've started a little bit early, but um, just eager to get going. We're up and running. Yeah. Well, I'm having a bit of a nightmare at the moment. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. I ac accidentally turned the power off on the jackery, so I lost all power to the rig. I've turned it back on and nothing in the ASIR will connect. So I've had to manually switch on the camera, the mount, the uh, EAF, uh, the laptop just died completely. So I've had to put some charge into that. is going on with that that's a 10 second shot and clearly there's something going on here guiding 73 yeah um just rebalanced the rigs i don't really know what else i can do apart from switch it off and switch it on again I'll give that a go. That is clearly not right. It's pointing at the ground. I just slewed my target. And um, yeah, that happened. Oh dear me. Let's try this again. Yeah, basically everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. So uh, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Stuff everywhere. I'll keep trying and uh, I'll be back soon. I am having a nightmare. That's how close I come to a collision. I had to hit the stop button. I don't know what's going on. I've tried it three times. I've plate solved. All I'm doing is trying to slew to M106. And this keeps happening, so I'm just gonna stop it. That's too risky. If I hadn't have been here, 
I've got issues with both rigs. Always happens when I try to run two rigs. There must be a glitch with the ISI air because it's done exactly the same as what the Esprit and the Obsi done. I'm gonna have to reset this manually. That's pointing at home. Let's just go back in here and see what's happening in here. Um, yeah, I don't know what to look at. Right, after turning it off and turning it on again, it's now working. It had gone past the Meridian Flip. And because I'd stopped it and started it and stopped it and started it, it didn't really know where it was and it hadn't realized that the flip had taken place. So after switching it off and putting it back on again, it obviously had worked out that the flip had happened and the scope has now gone the correct way, which is this side of the pier, and not that side. Anyway, it's found it. There it is. So with a little bit of luck, I might be able to get sorted now. I'm gonna get the guiding going. Start that. That's looking better. Now what am I supposed to do with that? I could play noughts and crosses, I suppose. It's always good to see the skunks pointing to home in the morning. It means the session completed. So last night was a little challenge, and as you saw, it's not always easy. Some nights just go like that. Anyway, I didn't get as much data as I had hoped, but added to what I've already got, that should be enough to put together a couple of half decent images anyway. Uh, the Ascar problem, I think, has been solved and it most likely was the cable being tight around the camera, causing a little bit of tilt. Um, I've rectified that now. Um, the image I've got out of it seems to be okay. The stars look pretty good, so I'm hopeful that that's been fixed. So if you like this kind of thing and you'd like to see more, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, hit the thumbs up, tick the little bell, and um, just leaves me to say thanks for watching. Thanks to all my existing subscribers. Really hope you like the video, hope you like the images, and of course, I wish you all clear skies.